Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, it's that time in the class where we go over our new memory verse for this week. But before we do that, let's take a look at Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you a new verse and that is Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. And this is a really awesome verse because it talks about the Lord's strength. And in this verse, it tells us that it's okay that we're weak because we can rest in God's power. The verse says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. We see three times it says, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. That's a lot of power. And so we're gonna try and memorize this verse together, okay? So the words are up here on the screen. So I want you to read it out loud with me. Now I know you're at home and I can't really tell you what to do, but do the verse. Okay, here we go. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Very good, awesome job. That was really good. I think I heard everybody. Handy Lance, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I just finished building a hiding spot for Miss Myrtle and I thought I'd hang out with you. Oh, that's why I can't find my sister anywhere. Well, I'm, I'm trying to do a memory verse here with the kids. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Do you mind if I just stay here? I'll, I'll be quiet, I promise. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can stay, but just don't be distracting, okay? Okay, got it. All right. Sorry. Um, just don't mind Handy Lance over there. Uh, we'll, we'll keep practicing this memory verse, okay? So let's say it out loud again together. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in... Whoa! <laughs> Bro, what did you do? Well, the power was so close and it wasn't even, so I thought I'd move it a bit. <sighs> well, can you fix it? Uh, no, it's gone. Oh, boy. Sorry. Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, let's just say the verse one more time. We're missing a word now, so hopefully you remember what the word is. Okay, here we go. Let's try it again. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the, what was that word? Power, that's right. Power of his might. Ephesians chapter six, verse 10. Great job, everybody. All right, we're going to try it one more time. Hey, what are you, what are you doing now? Uh, what happened? Well, I saw that the strong was kind of tilted, so I thought I'd fix it. Ugh. And you can't fix it? I, it's not made out of wood. I, you're handy Lance. Aren't you supposed to be able to fix anything? I can only fix things with wood. Oh boy. Okay, well, we don't have two words now. Let's try saying it again and hopefully you remember what those two words were. Here we go. Finally, my brethren, be... Very good. In the Lord and in the... Very good. Power of his might. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. You guys are doing a great job, even though Handy Lance over there is being a distraction. Let's try this verse a couple more times so that it can fully get into our noggins. All right, here we go. Finally, my brethren, be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Sorry. You just broke another one of my words. Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, my bad, really. I'm, um, you see what I have to work with? All right. Sorry. Let's try it one more time. Um, we're missing three words now. So hopefully you remember what the three words were. Here we go. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his, what's that last word? Might, that's right, good job. Ephesians chapter six, verse 10. Man, you guys are really getting the hang of this. For those of you that are saying it out loud with me, 
great job. I'm giving you two big thumbs up. Okay, let's try it one more time, except this time, whoa, are you kidding? I, a bunch of words just went missing. What happened? So, um, I, I, oh, well, there's way too many words that are missing. I can't even say this verse anymore. Sorry, what was that? Can you say the verse? The kids say they can say the verse. Yeah. Should, should we read it out loud with the kids? I think so. Okay. Well, a bunch of words are missing and I don't remember what the verse is. So I want you to help me, okay? Let's, let's say this verse out loud together. Here we go. Finally. Thank you. Finally, my brethren. Thank you. Be strong. Thank you. In the Lord. Thank you. And in the power. Thank you. Of his might. Might. Thank you. Wow, Handy Lance. You're pretty good at memorizing. Thank you. But you didn't give the kids a chance to say it. I memorize it. All right, I know you memorize it. Good for you. But let's let the kids say it, okay? Okay. All right. I want you guys to say the verse. All right, and a bunch of words are missing, so let's see if you memorize the verse. Here we go, and I won't say anything. I'm just gonna let you talk. Okay, ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. My be in the and in the of his. Awesome job! You guys did so good. I didn't really hear you, but I'm pretty sure you guys did it. So good job. Well, that's Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Hopefully, you will all memorize it this week. That's it for me. Thank you so much for helping me out with this memory verse. Handy Lance, thank you for all of your help. You really get the job done. We'll sing a song now. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power. Get up, get up. Okay, now we just need to film the beginning with that where you're asking me for help. Oh. Okay, today we are going to be building a fort. I uh, know, not a fort. Well, for today, we are going to be building a hiding place for Miss Myrtle. Ah. I'm gonna make sure you uh, you have everything. Get it tired. Don't worry, Miss Myrtle. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Miss Myrtle. We'll get the job done right now. <laughs> Today, we're gonna be building a hiding place for Miss Myrtle. Hello? Yeah? Yeah, this is Handy Lance. For sure, we'll get the job done right now. <laughs> 